Hello everybody, it's uh, it's XB Tyler here today, and I just saw Alien Romulus, and man, I'm just so impressed by this movie, and this, this thumbnail, this title is not clickbait, I think Alien Romulus is perfect, and let's get into why. So let's start from the beginning. Seeing this movie come out was just huge for me because... I am a huge fan of all the Alien movies, and, you know, seeing a remake of this just got me so excited, and going into this movie, you know, people saw, I saw this kind of opening night, but a lot of other people said they saw it um, before, and they said it was great, everyone said it was phenomenal, and I was a little bit, I was a little bit worried, I was, I was kind of a little bit skeptical about all these good reviews and stuff. But I went into this movie. I came out, and I, I surprise. They surprisingly exceeded my expectations. This movie is freaking amazing, and I urge all of you guys to go see this. It's it's great. And I want to begin to talk about first. We can split this video up into two sections. You know, I want a non-spoiler for people that are looking to go into this movie and watch this before. And I want to I want to have the second part of this movie. A spoiler movie so I can you know describe all the things that made this movie so good so we can of course start in the non spoiler this movie is visually so pleasing I was in I was halfway into this movie and you know the visuals are non-stop great my number one for the year was Dune 2 but <sighs> this these visuals dude in space they they're perfect I've, I this has got to be one of the best looking movies I've ever seen ever period and you know you can you can scream at me for being space biased and sci-fi biased because I do love the visuals of being in space and all the ships and stuff but I mean can you blame me this is got to be the gorgeous the most gorgeous movie of the year easily I really hope it wins some awards for its its look of the movie because it's just beautiful as well as the the visuals the sound design is just so good in this movie obviously the the sound aspect and then you got the music aspect both are phenomenal and you don't even have to watch the movie if you hear the music you're gonna be like okay this is a this is a sci-fi movie that's kind of has a little bit of thriller and horror into it that's just a really beautiful fact about the the design of this of this uh music and it's just it's so eerie at times and so thrilling that it just gets you so tense it gives you goosebumps like there are scenes in this movie where just because of the sound design you're gonna get goosebumps from it i promise you that the casting obviously is phenomenal i i really like how they casted the the teens the teens is what i call it in this movie because you know it's a fresh step from all the previous films we're having you know all the the, the adults and stuff but having like a group of younger age you know really gets you can relate to all, um, a lot of them and I really like that part of the aspect they don't really do that in the original movies so Kaylee Spaney is is amazing in this movie I really like um, her acting and it feels just real and it gets you it pulls out all the emotions inside and I love it so much David Johnson is also surprisingly great i when it, I look, I was watching these trailers and I was, you know, a little bit weirded out by the the android in this movie. But David Johnson just takes it away. You know, the acting makes him really seem like an android in real life. Like this guy might be an actual android, so someone might need to check up on him because his fin acting is so phenomenal. And your mind actually believes that this guy is an android. And I just find a lot of you know, I find a lot of enjoyment behind that, and that I so thankful that the ac acting in this movie was all great i love it and a real surprise of this movie that not a lot of people have been talking about is um i think it's isabella merced i don't want to i'm sorry if i butchered her name but she is you know phenomenal in this movie and it doesn't get talked about enough and if you didn't know she is going to be hot girl and uh james gunn's dceu and she's also dina in the last of us series and when i see a movie like this where you just see her performing her best right here because i believe this is one of her best uh projects and she wasn't even a main character you can really get excited for all these future projects that she's in and i just want to shout out that she's amazing and speaking of last of us like why did we not cast kaylee spaney as 
as Ellie. Um, I'm confused, guys. Because this is... Th th I, I was watching this whole movie, and in my mind, I was like, why did we not cast her as Ellie Williams? Oh my god, like, what what have we done, guys? And it's sad because you have her and Isabella um, have so much... I have a lot of chemistry in this movie, and... It's like, dang, we could have had something great, guys. We could have had something great. Anyways, we're not here to talk about The Last of Us. We're here to talk about Alien Romulus being peak. And, um, you know, another, another thing that's great about this movie is just the scares in this movie. The jump scares as well. Yeah, they're, they're, they are phenomenal. And there's scenes where it's less scares and more tension. And movies that can switch between the two are... I just have a lot of respect for because that is a really hard thing to do. And I am... The, there's a lot of scenes where I'm just tense. It's a suspenseful movie, and part of part of what plays into that is another thing that's great is the setting. The setting is just phenomenal. I love it so much. Um, they go to this abandoned ship, and I won't get into spoilers, but an abandoned ship that at first is like t turned off and all black, and zero gravity is just oh my gosh. You really get the tension with the sound design. Everything just adds up, and it just makes me so happy. I love this freaking movie. All right, and I want to give the big, the big, the big spoiler warning. Um, and I please, please, please urge you go to go see this movie, you know, before we talk about any spoilers. This movie is great. You should go enjoy it in theaters. I'm actually going to see it in 4K um, again. So I please urge you to see this before you watch this review. But you've heard the warning. Here we go. The fan service and this movie is receiving some controversy right now and i'm a little bit confused you know you got previous actors from previous movies in this movie you have a lot of hints at previous movies as well you know prometheus alien covenant the first alien you know you got all these um hints at this movie and everyone is explaining that this is a fan service movie but i just i cannot agree with them this is not a fan service movie this is a a sequel to all the originals when they say you know stop bringing back these returning actors for key roles i think it's actually the opposite i think they should have casted previous roles for little I, I guess cameos what i should call it because giving this movie some of its previous installments really ties it in to become one of the movies in the franchise i like how they introduce well, which we'll get into they introduce a lot of new features in this movie and a lot of new things about the alien franchise But they also tie some old some previous things into this movie The first 10 minutes of this movie gives you the same vibes as the first alien and there's many times in this movie where I'm like, okay I feel like I'm watching, you know a better version of one of the previous installments of this franchise I don't like how people are saying that they're it's a big fan service movie because that's not what it feels like to me it's not and let's get into the the actual aliens in this movie the face huggers and the actual xenomorphs they feel so alive and they have this presence they have this aura in this movie and it's really scary actually i'm i wasn't ever and i know a lot of people say i w they were terrified of the first alien movie but you know me seeing it when i was like 15 the, it isn't really a scary movie this movie is is scary you know i'm i'm sitting in the theater next to my buddy and i'm like okay this this theater or this movie is actually scary and i think what makes them definitely scarier is the fact that they used practical effects and they used they went they went the practical effects route instead of the you know the cgi and i think that makes them feel so much more alive and actual like creatures instead of just pixels the plot of this movie is great too i like how you know these characters have to fight and it's really nice to see that all these characters come together and they're like we need to we need to get away from this hole and it pretty much is they have to explore this this abandoned ship for cryopods to so they can live on a nice planet and they really establish the plot really fast which i like that, you know the first 10 minutes you're you're with these two characters you know rain and andy and they've already established a great connection you already feel that they have they have something that they had for a quite a while throughout this movie the relationship between them the two of them is just really strong and, and powerful it actually brings some emotions to the table most of the time in these you know slasher films and horror films that come out i'm you, you don't really feel emotion anymore it's i mean personally for me all the horror films that have come out this year 
are are scary in itself but they don't feature enough emotion for me and what this movie does so well for me is they can have the balance between emotion and the scare factor and tie it up all together there are scenes where i'm genuinely feeling for them for the characters and i feel like in an alien movie that's so hard to do but with them it really works and i think that ties into the factor that it's the 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 teen actors towards the end there is in the third act you know they're they're killing all the xenomorphs and stuff with the with the blasters which is cool and cool and you think that's it you think that's it but then when you realize that the 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 pregnant lady is birthing a freaking xenomorph hybrid with a human is insane you know this is probably like one of the most shock factor moments um i've had in a theater she was birthing a freaking xenomorph and you know this scene is disgusting this scene is gruesome but it is just so great and yeah i was i was thoroughly disgusted during this scene and you really think that that's the end but it's not when she bursts this freaking behemoth monster and it's a freaking xenomorph human hybrid and then that's when you really get into the third act where you're like okay i'm stuck on a ship with this freaking nine foot beast this scene also comes with one of the biggest jump scares i've ever faced in a theater this got me good i love this whole third act i've heard some ifs about this third act but i really find enjoyment that they they switched up they created something new for this franchise and i like this because it sets up you know newer sequels and it sets up a lot of new lore that they that they're originally setting up which i really like you know at the end they're both going to cry pods and they're going to this new planet and i really find that the ending ties it up just really well there's a lot of horror movies like this where they cannot tie up the end and you know it leaves questions it leaves like plot holes but this movie ties it up well and it perfectly sets it up for sequels of course you got me first line and tickets for these sequels i'm so excited for what the future of this franchise has and i think everything this movie introduced and everything this movie brought back is just perfect i think this is a perfect movie all in all i'm going to give this movie you know a 10 out of 10 this is this is a beautiful movie and please please for like the third time go see this movie it's absolutely stunning this was my review of alien romulus if you guys enjoyed um hit that like button you know watch my previous videos subscribe do what you want i don't care but i love you regardless so i will see you guys uh, shout out Ian. I'll see you guys uh, in the next one.